guy. Hello, my gorgeous guys and all my spooky queens in between. We've got a bit of a different setup today. I wanted to just sit and chill on my bed because I couldn't be bothered to put my desk and everything up. So here we are. Here's my bed. <laughs> As you can see from this mama jamma of a box, we've got a Sheehan haul. But because it is all accessories and stuff, I thought I don't need to be trying anything on. I can just show you what I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edge in a little bit further so you can see me a bit clearer and um, show you what I've got. So grab a drink, grab a snack and we'll dive right in. So I kind of went, I need to move this. Yeah put it down there i kind of went a bit crazy with socks i really needed some new socks i normally wear trainer liners all the time but obviously because we're getting into like boot season and stuff like that i wanted some full socks and i wanted some nice socks and obviously with it being spooky season she and had loads of spooky socks in so i'm just gonna show you what i got real quick so you see these are purple and black stripes with pumpkins on let me get them out what they look like how cool are they they're so cute i love them and these are all one size i believe yeah so the next pair is some skull and cross skull and cross bones no it's just skulls so these are the skull ones and then we've got some ones with ghosts on in like different colored outlines and stuff he's sensing a theme here i went for like all the spooky style ones these ones have got vampire teeth on but like the halloween kind of vampire teeth you know the cheap ones the plastic ones that you would get and i think they're so cool the colors are so vibrant as well got some little aliens and they feel really really good quality as well like they feel really thick and nice like they're not gonna be see-through they're not gonna snag or anything so i'm really impressed with these and we got Next, these ones feel a bit naff, to be honest. They're just some, oh, my eyeball. Next, we got some just white tube sock kind of things with ghosts. These ones are probably the worst because the ghost face is just kind of like a vinyl that's ironed on. So I feel like these are gonna rip, uh, not rip, like lift really easily. Whereas everything else has been like within the fabric of the socks. So I feel like these are just gonna end up becoming white socks. And I don't wear white socks, so I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of these. And then we've got some spider ones. These again are in the fabric as opposed to the iron-on transfer. So it's only the ghost ones that are kind of like the letdown of the bunch kind of thing. Next, we have this four pack of scrunchies. And we've got a red one. You've got an orange one. You've got a blue one. And then you've got a purple one. And they've got cobwebs all over them. And I just had to get these. Me and my daughter have already worn these. Um... I don't know when this is going up, but we wore these on Halloween because they arrived on Halloween. So obviously in the midst of a pandemic, I want to be able to look a little bit fashionable with my mask. Because normally my lipstick is what makes my fashionable side kind of thing. And obviously wearing a mask, you can't see that. So I went ahead and bought a whole heap of masks. So I'm going to go through these ones first. So I believe this is a packet of 10 not quite sure let me count one yeah so this is a packet of 10 masks we've got a red one we've got a burgundy one like a dusty rose one ah, a khaki one a like hot magenta pink like a, a nude one a gray blue tealy kind of one a mustard one a gray one and a black one. I do believe these came in two different like colorways. This is the more muted colorway, whereas the other one was more vibrant and I'm not about that. And they've got the filter pocket things inside them, which is really good. But these ones, these face masks are the ones I was really looking forward to. And yes, even though they are Halloween masks, I'm going to wear them all year round because they're beautiful. So we've got this one that's got kind of like 
Garrett Keedy on it and Boo written on it. We got like a super nice like vintage Halloween style one. Uh, what's this one got on it? A spider with teeth, bats, drawings and stuff. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> This one's cute, just a white one with witch legs, hat, pumpkin, a candy cane, some sweets, and a little ghost down there. Uh, this one's very like Day of the Dead style with the sugar skull cat kind of thing. I quite like that. This one's got coffins and a tree and again the word boo. And then this one, this one probably is my least favourite because I think that drawing looks terrible like the witch doesn't look that great so i don't know i might give this one to my daughter or something i'm not entirely sure yet but we got all them a lot of masks and same as i said to go with the masks they have the um the slits in them so you can put filters in i hand wash my mask that i've got at the moment um every time i use it after i've used it so to get all the germs off and you get um i put filters in mine so I got some of these in a Pasheen haul. I think I've got like three left. So I just picked up some more. They're just the um, the filters that go inside the masks. If you can't go wrong with them, I'll probably stock up on more of these again with my next order because I'm, this virus isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So it's best to be stocked up, isn't it? Next up, I kind of went a little bit mad with bags because they were cute and I needed them, okay? I needed them. So first up, we've just got this, it's like a tote shopping bag thing. Comes with a handle. And I just really like this. And it's um, eh, drawstring, which I really like. Like this is such a cute little shopping bag. Do you not think? And it's like really good material. It's like proper canvas material. It feels very sturdy and very nice. Like it's going to withstand all of my shopping needs. So. This is bag one. It's a bum bag. It's a fanny pack. It's a... I don't know what other words there are for it. But it's one of these. And it's got freaking bats on it. Ah! It's just a standard material. It's got massive... Well, as massive as a bum bag can have. Compartment on it. It's got a, um, a buckle and adjustable strap. But I thought that was really cute. Um, I use mine quite a lot. I've got like a plain black one that I wear quite a lot. So this one's got freaking bats on it. I ummed and awed about this bag for the longest time. Like it was in and out of my basket for so much. And now that it's come, I'm so glad that I got it. How cute is this? Oh my God. So it has a really sturdy black um, zip on it. Yeah. And it's just one massive compartment, like the size of the bag. And so I would probably use it as a clutch, but it does have the strap on the inside that you just um, fasten to the side of it. And it's an adjustable strap, doohickey, so you can have a strap with it. But I would probably just have it like a little clutch bag because I thought that was really cute. I can't remember the name of the brand that sells these originally and whenever i've tried to order them they go out of stock really quickly and i really hate the fact that i've bought these um from another creator kind of thing mass produced thing um but i really really wanted them so we got some pumpkin handbags i can't remember the name of the brand that brought these out and theirs look a lot better like they're a lot better Quality. I mean, I'm not mad at this. It's still really cute. It's a really sturdy bag. This is the orange one. And on the inside... Ugh, let me just take all the paper out. So it's just one massive compartment. Again, the size of the bag. You get a little fat key ring. Which I'm going to put on now because it's very cute. So you get a little back key ring and then you've got a really like nice leather pleather strap. I mean, I don't know if it's pleather, it could be leather. I hope it's not. I doubt it will be for the price of it. 
Oh, I'll put this on the wrong way. Oh, does it turn? It turns. Good old. And it's got a cute little strap. And it is slightly adjustable. This is the longest that it will be. So, I mean, I'm sat down. So it'd be like at my bum length, which I'm not mad about. Um, but it can go smaller. It has got a few holes punched into it. But obviously, because I got the orange one, I had to get the black one as well. And I'm a little bit bummed. I do like the black one better. But my black ones come with, like, a dint in it. And it's not a, a the be-all and end-all kind of thing. Like, it's not a massive deal-breaker for me. I'm still going to keep it because over time it probably would have got battered and bruised and damaged and things like that. But from the get-go, you don't want it to be damaged, do you? So, but I'm not mad. I still love it. And so, my little pumpkins. You can see a mountain of stuff piling up there, okay? And then the next things, I'm a little bit gutted about these. Um, they had loads of spooky, like, Halloween-style purses on the website. The one that I wanted, um, most of them came as, like, a little small one and a big one. And I wanted to get both the small and the big in whichever style I wanted. The one that I wanted was bright orange, and it had, like, kind of vintage print... Um, Halloween things. I think it had a cat, it had a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern, and I think it was like a gravestone or something like that. And it was beautiful. It just looked really nice and like it looked better than what it was kind of thing. But that sold out really quickly and I was gutted and they only had the small one left. I didn't want to get a different one. I wanted them to be matching. So I got this, this set instead. Like I still really love it. The only problem is this one, is it the same material? I think it's the same, like, cheap plasticky material. But this one's kind of got, can you hear that? It's kind of got, like, a ribbed thing, whereas this one hasn't. Um, I believe the print's the same. Yeah, the print is the same. So we've got um, a cobweb with a spider, a witch's hat, a bat, a ghost, candy corn, boo, jack-o'-lantern. Is that it? Yeah. But these are really cool. I like having a big purse all the time, like, to put everything in. The one I've got at the moment is from Band Alternative, I think it's called. It's the Black Bats one, and I've got the matching handbag as well. Um, but I saw this, and I had a look at the reviews, and the pockets are uh, similar, like, layout to the one that I've got at the moment. So you've got one, two, three, oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight card slots. Um, you've got, like, space dividers and a zip for coins, you've got the back pockets as well to put notes in and stuff. So as I said, I like having a big purse to have in my handbag or my backpack all the time, but then if I ever go anywhere where I'm taking a small bag, like one of these, I got the small one, which I can just chuck a couple of quid in, maybe like my ID, bank card or whatever, a bit of cash, you know, just to chuck in my bag, but it's still spooky and it's still it's adhesive my only niggle is this one's got a gold zip and i don't really like it whereas this one's got a black and then a silver this thing toggle zip is this the zip or is this the zip which one is it so when i tell you that this haul is really random like it's not random it's all accessories kind of thing but it's kind of just little bits that i've had in my wish list for a while and i've just finally got around to buying like all in bulk so the next things i've got oh i've got another bag oh, i forgot about this it's another bum bag fanny pack thing i didn't think i ordered this because like all the bags were kind of together and everything but this one's a black one with ghosts on it yay it's just a bum bag a fanny pack whatever you want to call it but it's got ghosts on it. So we've got the ghost one and the bat one. Which one is your favourite? Like, comment down below if you're team ghost or team bat. The bat one is kind of like a bluey grey colour. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. So, take your pick. This next thing is what I mean about this being such a random order thing. Look at him. It's just a keyring. <laughs> Cute little 
the Grim Reaper with a jack-o'-lantern, uh, this random strap which I'm not overly keen on so I might take that off and a big plastic clasp thing. This was one of them things, I think I'd clicked on something else and this was on the suggested thing and I was like, I've got to have it, I've got to have it, that is adorable. I think I'm going to put it on my purse. Will you go on there? Is there anywhere for me? Um, uh, there's nowhere to put it. I could put it on my little one, but I feel like that's a little bit overkill. <laughs> because the little one's got... Get off. The little one's got a hole in the end of the zip. Whereas the big one just has a solid zip. Ah, that's infuriating. But I could possibly take... Use it through the actual key ring and slot it through. And you will, there is a way. That's what's happening. That is what I'm doing. This is going to live on here. I think this was the thing that I was on and I got suggested the um, the key ring. How do I get into it? There we go. So I've just bought myself a new... <clears throat> I've just bought myself a new laptop and I wanted a little USB thing to pull things off of photos and everything and I saw that Sheehan had loads of like really cool quirky things I think there's like a DSLR camera there's like a piano there's like a burger or I think it's like a chip a fries packet and a chip that you pop the chip into the fries packet USB things but I saw this guy I think it looks like the Hulk with the purple trousers and like if you've got rid of that scar it looks like the Hulk but I think it's supposed to be a zombie or Frankenstein but it's a USB card thing. How cool is that? I think that's awesome. Honestly, the small, if I get it back in. It's honestly the little things that really entertain me. And I thought he was really cool. Um, they did them in different sizes. I got the 32 gigabyte one. I believe there was 32 gigabyte. I believe there was a 16 gigabyte and an eight gigabyte. Um, I mean, if this is good and it works, well enough i'll grab loads more as i was saying i will grab loads more because you can never have too many and like i like backing things up so ooh, i got another mask type thing this thing was cool when i saw this i was like oh how does that work then but like it's so cool so this is uh, again like a one size fits all thing i don't know if it's going to ruin my makeup i'm going to put it on anyway So it's like this snood thing. Can you see the print on it? So you've got like a Ouija planchet, a pentagram, a cat, a moon, a skull. Is that it? What's that? Is that like a crystal? I think so. But then it's got the little ear cuff things. To wear it as a mask. How cool is this? I saw somebody at the train station the other day with one of these like this and it wasn't as cool as this obviously but I thought this was really cool I thought it was a really good idea if I'm going out and about I mean we've just gone into a lockdown haven't we I've just seen on the news this morning this afternoon evening whatever um that we've gone into another lockdown so I'm not going to be going anywhere, but when it gets colder, this would be good for like a little scarf piece as well. But yes, I'm going to show you the design a little bit better. So you've got um, a fortune telling ball, a skull, a Ouija plancher, a cat, some plants, a palmistry hand, crystals, and all that good stuff. I thought this was really cool. Does anybody else think it's cool? Probably just me. I like it. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. Right, now we're on to hair accessories. Told you it was random. I did tell you. This thing. Oh, we had the bobbles before. But these, I like how these were listed in the toddler section. But I had to get them. The little bat ear clips. I don't know how well I'm going to... Oh my god, that's awesome. these you can't even there we go oh my god 
These were a stellar investment. I'm going to wear these all the damn time. All of the time. This is me from now on, okay? you got to deal with it. This is me from now on. <sighs> Love them. I'm going to put them back in the bag for now so I don't lose them. This next thing, I kind of got this to take the red bits off. I only wanted the horns. Because I feel like the red bit looks a bit silly. So do the red bits come off? Oh, they do! Beautiful! So I only wanted it for the little horns. Oh, look at how cute they are. Again, these are going to be something that I wear all the time. Eee! Oh my god, you can't see it because of my backdrop thing. But look at them! Oh my god! I got some of these really like chunky headbands. This is in a pack of two. Yeah. So these were in a pack of two. They feel really odd. Like the fabric in them is really thick, but I suppose it helps to keep them thick. I'm not overly keen on this one. Let's have a look at what it looks like. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Do I like it? I don't know. I didn't get it for this anyway. I got it for this one. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Some good choices were made for this haul in headwear. I'm going to wear these all the time. Is that not adorable? Is that not so beautiful? Oh my god. I'm like going back to my 90s. <laughs> Grab shop clothing. I love it. I think that's so nice. Same as I said, I'm not overly buzzed about this one. I don't. I could probably give or take that one. My daughter might end up having it, or I give it away to somebody else. I wanted it for this. Staying on brand with the headband job and ob. This is such an odd pairing. So you've got your white bandana thing, and they're the ones with the elasticated band thing at the back. So you've got your white bandana, a black bandana, which I like both of these, and then there's this random floral thing my daughter will definitely have this one i don't like flowers unless there's some flowers i don't i'm not and it's like pink is that how we do it oh that's cute oh i like it ah oh, that's nice i like it Oh, I think with my hair, I like the white bandana style one better. Like the black one just kind of merges in. But like, I do like the black one. I want to wear the black one like majority of the time. But this is cute. I like it. And like the style of them, they kind of, they kind of like cross over, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, I don't, I don't like the flowery one. I don't like this looks so tripe in person. On the website, it looks so much better. And I'm gutted because I was really excited for it. It's a choker with a little bat on it. But like these bead things like staring into the depths of your soul. They're horrible. I mean, let's see what it looks like on. Oh, so <laughs> the tops of the wings stab into my tensions oh my god that is so unfl unflattering it's like I, I don't look like that normally this is me sat normally that's me accentuating <laughs> but yeah when i do that which isn't all that often so it won't be an issue but like the spikes do dig into my chins i don't know if they like they need to like be softened down or something like i'm not mad at it i just think the eyes are horrible i think on the picture I don't know. Did I even probably look? They're just like really bulbous. You see? Bulbous rivet things in the eyes. And I'm not overly hyped about them. I got a lot of hats. So we're just going to dive in. My hair's already a mess from all the headbands. So I'm going to show you the hats. I say a lot. I got four. Four is probably an excessive amount. To some. But I wanted them. 
So first up is this very bizarre, like, folded, scrunched up beanie. But on the picture, it looked like really like slouchy and stuff. So that's why I wanted it. So as winter's coming, winter is coming. I thought it was pretty cute. What do you think? I like it. Just a black beanie out into it. And I like that it drapes at the back kind of thing. I don't even know if you can see it. Because again, I have black backdrops everywhere. So I apologise. This one is just a, a plain black beanie with, um, on it. <laughs> I do that a lot, like a lot, a lot, probably a bit too much that it's annoying. But, um, as soon as I saw this, I had to get it. And like, I always send this message, like this emoji to people and stuff. So I thought, why would I not get it on a hat? I like it. I think it's cool and it's really well yeah. it's really well stitched on can you see get up all in there it's really well done i'm happy with it this next one i'm so gutted about because it is freaking huge whose head is this i have a quite a small head okay but this is huge like i just don't see this fitting anyone and i'm gutted because i do really really like it so it's just a leather, what's it called? Is it a baker hat? Baker's boy? Baker boy hat? I don't know. But it's got this gorgeous buckle on it. It's just really big. There's, just, there's too much space. I mean, it fits. Like, obviously it goes on because it's too big. Oh, I'm just my hair out. Like it goes on because it's too big, but I feel like a sudden gust of wind, it's coming off my head. But I love it and I'm so upset. I mean, if I pull it down, but then I kind of look a bit of a twat. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it that low. I'd wear it there. So you can... Ugh. So you can see my fringe and everything. I don't even know. I don't even know if it suits me. I like it. I'm just not hyped about the size of it. When I wear wigs, it would probably fit better. It won't be as loose on my head because obviously I'll have extra, extra bare space there. And then the last hat I got, I was heartbroken when this came because it was so smushed up. But luckily, I managed to kind of pop everything back out and make it look somewhat decent. Like the brim is bent a little bit as well. But I mean, hopefully I can kind of shape it back in. Is this not like the dopest of dope hats ever? I've wanted one of these hats, like the wide brim hat for so long. Um, I will warn you, same as I said, I have a really small head and this fits perfectly on my head so if you have a bigger head than me which you probably will no offense i just have a really tiny head um it's just a really small hole a really small 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 head hole but i'm in love with this hat i think it's so sick i love it it's so good and then i have only have four items left all items and they're pretty boring items well they're not i got a new ipad case because mine is broken and cracked and damaged and everything i thought it was broken then it's not i don't think i think do i have to pop it in i assume i do is it broken i don't think it is because this plastic bit is in a case like a plastic case on its own so I'm hoping it just kind of clicks on like that. Clicks in somehow. But then looking at the space. That it clicks in. Get off. Looking at the space it clicks into. It looks too small. Oh is that a magnet? Has that got a magnet bit in it? I don't know. Oh no. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to see if I can figure it out. 
because I'm very confused. And then the last three things I got were packs of stickers. Um, I believe there's like 50 in each packet, so I don't think I'm going to go through all of them. But they're just like Halloween style stickers. And I got these to put all over said iPad case and all over my laptop and stuff. So we've got like a pumpkin. Just trying to go through the ones that I really like. Like a zombie brain ice cream. Jar of eyeballs. These. Like some of these are like really cartoony and meh. But again, these were only a couple of quid. Halloween Trick or Treat 31. I like the pumpkin on that one. Oh, I like this one. It's like a little potion bottle. This one's very confusing. This was one of like the highlighted ones on the pictures thing. It's a snowman made out of pumpkins. Very confusing. Ah, a little pumpkin with a witch hat on. I love that. Some toadstools. That one's cute. Crow or a raven. Bat, I like that one as well. Witch's broom, I like that one. A gravestone. So that's packet one. I'm going to just do a similar thing with the other two because I'm sat here, so I might as well. I'm not showing all of them. Same as it. Like some of them are really horrible, like super cheesy ones that I'll probably get rid of. So let's have a look what's in this one. I believe this pack. I think that one that I showed you was all Halloween, and I think this one's like mainly skulls. Oh, oh my goth. It's going to be backwards, but I'm sorry. Oh my goth. Oh, this was like a red pack, I believe. I remember now. Oh, a gargoyle. That's cool. Sexy naked demon lady. I like that. And that one as well. Eh. Pretty cool. Vampire TVs. <laughs> if it fits, it sits. There's a little demon kitty. Oh, that's amazing. I'm really sorry if these are like stolen artwork pieces. I know that Sheehan are really bad for that. Um, I do try to look and see. That's nice. I do try and look and see if I can find the people that originally created them so I could purchase from them and stuff. Because I do like my stickers. Like I, over my iPad case that I've got now. It's covered in stickers from, I can't remember, I've had that case for about two, three years now, so. Uh, ooh. This one's not got that many that I really like in it. Oh, that's pretty cute. Like a rose, a little spider. Yeah, this one isn't overly great. It's got some like tarot cards, tarot cards, however you say it, style designed ones. But not overly hyped about this one. And I think this was another Halloween set. Let's have a look see. Beetlejuice. No feet. Eyeballs. I think this one I've got a lot more that I like in it. So we've got a crow on a um, jack-o'-lantern. Oh, I like that one. Ooh. <gasps> it's Sam. We've not seen trick or treat, trick or treat. It's Sam. Oh my god, that's gonna go on my phone. I think that's gonna have to go on my phone case because it's my boy. It's Sam again. Oh, right, they're both going on my phone. <laughs> Boote. I like this creepy deformed like squash pumpkin. When life gets you down, just remember you too shall pass. Pretty cool, we have a little zombie hand. Keep it creepy. <laughs> this cat design is super cool as well. I think I want this tattooed somewhere eventually. Um, it's just like the standard, like traditional Halloween. The traditional Halloween kind of doohickey. And a little cute little traditional bat. It's always Halloween in my soul. I need that turning into a patch or something to wear all the time. And then we'll end with a little owl. Well, that was such a thing of randomness. I've got to try and put all this away now. My legs have gone numb. I'm sitting cross-legged all this time. My back is really painful. Um, so yeah, this was my Sheehan haul. Same as I said, it was a bit of a mismatch haul. 
but I'm really happy with the bits that I've got. Same as they were all in my basket, things that I've wanted for a while, and now I finally have them. Um, all the masks and everything obviously are mandatory and a necessity, so I got them. Hats, it's getting colder. I need to keep my head warm, especially now. Shaved sides, it's cold, so that's why there's a lot of hats. Bags, I just like bags. So I got more bags. Stickers, because I'm going to stick a bomb everything. My little Sam. These are the best ones. Last Halloween, I body painted myself as Sam. And I did like a split face and did half with a little sack. His little sack bag on. And half of this. His creepy jack-o'-lantern carved face. And it was probably my absolute favourite look I've ever done. I made his little lollipop thing that he goes around killing people with. Has he got it? Oh yeah. He's got it. Holding it there, look. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Um, with the bite mark out of it, I made that myself. I used a straw, paint, and I think two pieces of cardboard. Cut together, painted and everything. It's somewhere in here. I don't know where it is. I kept it because it was awesome. Um, but yeah. I'm rambling now. That was the end of my Sheen haul. Same as I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. Um, sorry there's no clothes in this one. I do want to wait until Black Friday. I've got a lot of the Halloween stuff in my basket, in my wish list. And I'm hoping that now that it's not Halloween, that it'll drop down in price. And I can get it for cheaper. I mean, it's already really cheap as it is. But I want it cheaper. So that's my plan. Um, so maybe like end of November time, I'll have another, well obviously after Black Friday, so it will be end of November, beginning of December kind of time, I'll have another haul. I want to get loads of new jumpers, so if you saw one of my other hauls where I got the, um, the like the vintage OG horror film jumper print thing, they've got so many cool Halloween spooky style, um, jumpers that I want to get. So I think it's just going to be a massive like winter haul kind of thing. That's my plan. If you liked this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe and all that shebang. Um, let me know in the comments what your favourite bit was, if you can remember, because the same as I said, it was a bit of a rambled mismatch. I think for me personally, um, I really like the flat hat. So I've wanted one of these for so long and I, whenever I've seen them online and ordered them they've come and they've not looked like how I wanted them to do or they didn't fit how I wanted them to do. This one just fits so nicely and do you know what I feel like? I feel like I should need to go into a coven or something. Very American gothic I feel. Is it? Is that the vibe I'm getting? Probably not. I feel like I should be walking around Salem or something wearing this. That's where I'm going. Do you get the vibe? Do you get what I'm saying? You probably don't. I'm probably making it up and I'm sorry, so. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Devil headband and the little bat wings things. I'm going to wear them all the time. Where I'm not wearing my hats, obviously. As I leave off every video, be sure to be a nice, decent human being. Um, as we move forward towards Christmas and everything, I hope that it's not as manic for you. If you're here in the UK, obviously we've just gone into lockdown. I hope you are safe. I hope you are okay. If you're not okay, as I said in my last video, previous or the one before I believe it was, my DMs are always open on Instagram. Don't feel like you have to be alone in this. Like I understand that people's mental health throughout 2020 because of the uncertainty and everything of it all has been shocking so don't feel like you haven't got anybody i will be your somebody i will be here for you to rant to even if it's just like oh margaret next door's done this or whatever like if you need somebody to rant to just drop me a dm it's cool like i always reply always 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 reply so if you just need somebody to talk to just drop me a message on that note, I shall catch you on the next one. Bye!